Hello, and welcome to Fencing Sport Psychology. I'm Dr. John Heil, author with Chip Magdalinskis of Mind Body Relaxation. A brief description of this mental training technique follows. The actual audio with video of Mind Body Relaxation appears in a separate file. Mind body relaxation training has four components. There is the mind body relaxation seminar. This narrated PowerPoint, which describes the theory of mental training and offers guidance in the use of the mental training script. There is the mental training program itself, an audio guided, video enhanced mental training script, which is the core element of mind-body relaxation. Because it is video enhanced, it can be used either in the traditional fashion with eyes closed or with eyes open. There is also a mind-body relaxation guidebook, which includes text versions of the mental training program and the seminar. There is also an article from American Fencing Magazine which looks at the role of intensity control and mind-body relaxation in fencing. The goal of sports psychology is to build mental skills and to enhance performance, especially performance under pressure. Mental training is the means by which psychological skills are built. There are five cardinal skills of mental training. These are intensity control, concentration, self-talk, imagery, and performance routines. Mind-body relaxation is an intensity control method. Specifically, it is designed to lower or downregulate intensity. For the fencer, mind-body relaxation is used to help drop back down into the zone when competitive pressure or distractions moves the fencer up and out of the zone. Intensity control training is an important element in performance routines. The fencer can use this skill in preparation for competition and as a part of between bout and between touch routines. Mind-body relaxation draws on the traditional Asian martial arts concepts of centering and body awareness. In this regard, it is useful to think of fencing as a contemporary martial art, which relies on the same elements of attack and defense, technique and tactics, speed and timing, distance, and personal space. For a look at intensity control training and how to use mind-body relaxation, click on the Fencer Intensity Control and Mind-Body Relaxation tab. Mind-body relaxation creates a calm and quiet state that can be described as positive and focused, balanced and efficient. It begins with a simple practical method of muscle relaxation. This not only leads to a reduction in muscle tension, but also to a lowering of biological intensity and to a synchronization of brainwave activity. It creates a state of body that is relaxed, balanced, and efficient. The latter part of this mental training method introduces the idea of centering a state of mind that is positive and focused. When combined, the methods of muscle relaxation and centering create a state of readiness for action. If the mind and body could be thought of as an automobile, mind-body relaxation puts the motor in neutral, idling quietly, ready to rest and ready to race, whatever the situation demands. According to zone theory, there is an optimal level of intensity for any given task. Being at the right intensity level is critical to meeting your objective. 
Whether your goal is to achieve in a high performance environment or simply to get a good night's sleep. Mind body relaxation is specifically for calming down or down regulating intensity. The need to down regulate or lower intensity level is a common challenge related to being able to rest from the effort of activity and to recover from stress. When properly applied, mind body relaxation leads the transition from a state of tension and stress to one that is positive, focused, and relaxed. There are also methods for upregulating intensity, but these are not presented here. Intensity level is driven by the fight or flight response, which functions like an emergency response system. The fight or flight response is a component of the autonomic nervous system which regulates intensity and which links mind and body. The command center for the autonomic nervous system is instinct based and housed in brain centers that are not available to conscious thought. This makes the fight or flight system difficult to control, especially under pressure. Breathing and muscle relaxation serve as a back door into the autonomic nervous system and are the means by which change can be made in intensity level. Focused breathing and reduction in stress-related muscle tension are the core elements of any approach to mind-body relaxation. The mind-body relaxation method for down-regulating intensity begins with a focus on breathing and then turns to the relaxation of muscle tension. The proper method of breathing is slow, deep, and regular. If you breathe in a way that is slow, deep, and regular, you can downregulate intensity. It is particularly challenging to try to relax muscles throughout the entire body, all at the same time. However, Relaxing one group of muscles at a time is relatively easy. The muscle relaxation method employed in mind-body relaxation is a count from 1 to 10, with each number associated with a particular area of the body. Because counting from 1 to 10 is a deeply ingrained and automated behavior, it is relatively easy to stay on task when using this method when under pressure or feeling distracted. The 1 to 10 component of mind-body relaxation can be used independently as a brief standalone method. Practice of this technique throughout the day not only helps improve focus and efficiency but also builds intensity control skills so they can be used with greater effectiveness when needed occasional brief practice of a method like the 1 to 10 count fine-tunes body awareness creating a better understanding of how thoughts and feelings are revealed in body language. Mind-body relaxation draws on the ideas of centering and energy flow. Concepts that are found in mind-body disciplines like Zen, Yoga, and Tai Chi. Centering and energy flow also figure strongly in zone theory. It is useful to think of the zone as a sweet spot, a point between too much intensity and too little, with a state of balance between the energy of thought and the energy of action. Centering and energy flow have mechanical, visceral, physiological and psychological elements. From a purely mechanical perspective, the body has a center, or more specifically, a center of gravity. Lowering the center of gravity puts one into an athletic stance, enhancing balance, and priming the body for decisive action. The idea of a center is also visceral. It can be felt. 
Centering breathing brings increased awareness to the body. Shifting focus from the head to the body can also remedy the common problem of overthinking and help maintain an action-focused mindset. The emphasis on controlled breathing that is a part of centering has a physiological effect on the autonomic nervous system and modulates the fight or flight response. Within the traditional Asian mind-body systems, the ideas of centering and energy flow are rooted in philosophy and traditional medicine and serve as jumping off points for a focus on personal development. Mind-body relaxation training uses simple metaphors to present these complex ideas. The point at the bottom of the space that fills with each breath identifies the center. Movement of the point out of the center represents energy flow. Throughout much of this training, energy movement is represented as a point of awareness moving from the center throughout the body. The training method concludes by drawing a link between mind and body, identifying qualities of passion, commitment, and vision. This reflects on the traditional psychological and philosophical aspects of the mind-body systems. The use of metaphor presents the time-honored concepts of centering and energy flow. The metaphors offer a more visually based approach to breath control and muscle relaxation, complementing the more typical approaches which are based on the feel of the muscles. These metaphors also introduce a sense of novelty to counter the repetitive nature of most relaxation methods. This appeals in particular to the user for whom sameness too easily can turn to monotony. Intensity zone training attempts to strike a proper balance between repetition and novelty. Repetition leads behaviors to become automated and therefore more readily accessible under pressure. Novelty helps broaden the practitioner's skill set and drives the ability to create solutions to new challenges. Reading the script as text and experiencing it as a mental training exercise are fundamentally different. The purpose of mental training is to get inside the experience of the moment, to live it, not to simply think about it.